he's gone for an interval but he should be back i think he's back harry styles was sensational like Blue from australia I came from just down the road. Hi and welcome to my channel. So I went to see Harry Styles on Wednesday. I have never seen him before and it was amazing. Genuinely one of the best concerts I've ever been to. The vibe was immaculate. So I'm just going to show you kind of some of the behind the scenes, well not behind the scenes, but like videos from the concert, videos of me going to the concert, that sort of thing, and what Metro I bought. Forgive the fact my hair looks absolutely terrible right now. This is like my first time using rollers, but I'm seeing Harry Styles tomorrow, so I want my hair to like stay in place all day and all night, um, so I can look good. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm seeing Harry Styles tomorrow. I'm very excited. I've never actually seen Harry Styles before, so it should be good. Today I will learn one day. I will learn how to do rollers. Today's not that day, but it should keep my hair kind of in place. Fingers crossed anyway. So, uh, this is my face currently, getting ready for Harry. Very excited, went to Blackpool this morning and I got a feather boa. It's a white one to match my outfit, because my outfit's kind of cute. Um, yeah, I'm just doing my makeup now. My eyes, eyelids, I've decided to react to something. I have no idea what, but they hurt. But it's fine, because I'm gonna put makeup on it and pretend it's not a thing. So I've just got off the train uh, and now walking. There were so many people dressed up on the train so I didn't feel too weird. Uh, a lot of feather boas. Um, very excited. Uh, so we're about to set off uh, to Old Trafford. I'm just with my mum because we're going together because it's cute like that. Um, the doors have opened. It's past four o'clock. The doors have opened. We don't have like any of the pods so like I know it's going to be very very busy. I did not want to camp. A lot of people camped. It was not me. I am not a camper. Uh, but yeah, should be should be fun. signs of a Harry Styles concert. We are currently in the merch queue. Um, it's a pretty big queue but it's quite organised which is nice. Um, there it is. Yeah, I mean we finally got here which is good and because it's so late there it was like no queue but there's queue for the merch. So I have secured the Love on Tour tote bag. I have also got the Love on Tour t-shirt. I was gonna get the jumper and then I was like, no, I don't need the jumper, I don't need it. So we got two of the tote bags and then the Love on Tour t-shirt. Both my time here and the time making music over the last several years, I feel like I've learned so much about myself. I hope that somewhere along the line, you've learned something about yourself too. And I hope when you're going out there and being kind to other people, I hope you're taking the time to be kind to yourself just as much. 
next song we're going to play for you is about just that. This is my song. Are you having a good time so far? Okay. You having a good time so far? Now, Blue from Australia! Hello! I came from just down the road. Alright. Now, if I'm going to ask a favour from you, I'm going to ask a favour from you because I'd like to try and find someone in the audience. Okay. So we're going to get we're going to get really quiet, and I'm going to see if I can locate this person. If you don't mind helping me, okay? Because my first ever school teacher is here tonight. Her name's Mrs. Verner. And I believe she's in the crowd. I'm going to try and find her. If Mrs. Vernon is here, are you here? You're not Mrs. Vernon. He's gone for an interval, but he should be back. I think he's back. Surprisingly fast. Oh my god, there's so many people. But it has played out relatively fast. Styles at Old Trafford on Wednesday the 15th of June was started off with music for a sushi restaurant, Golden, Adore You, Daylight, Cinema, Keep Driving, Matilda, Boyfriends, Lights Up, Satellite, Kenya Moon, Treat People With Kindness, What Makes You Beautiful, Late Night Talking, Love Of My Life and then he went off the stage for a little bit and he came back, did Sign Of The Times, Watermelon Sugar, As It Was and Kiwi. He didn't do Fine Line uh, but because it was such a good concert I will forgive him this once but I am disappointed he didn't do Fine Line, I'll admit. In terms of timings, Mitski came on around like 10 past seven-ish and finished around quarter to eight and then Harry came on at quarter to nine and finished at 20 past 10. Obviously times will be slightly different depending on the venue but that was the timings for Manchester night one. Harry Styles was sensational like I'm not being dramatic when I say that genuinely I have never seen a concert crowd quite like it like most people were dressed up. Obviously, wear whatever makes you comfortable, you know, whatever you're comfortable in. There were people not like dressed up, but a lot of people were dressed up just in bright colours, a lot of pinks, bright oranges, bright reds, just a lot of bright colours. And one thing you will see a lot of, feather boa. Here's my feather boa. I bought it in Blackpool earlier in the day. Um, as you can see, feathers came off it a lot. Um, yes, this was my feather boa for the concert. Um, there were feather boas like around the arena, uh, well around the stadium like as you were walking to it um, but I got mine earlier on because I didn't know that would be a thing. There was also like pink cowboy hats but I didn't want to get one of them because then you'd have to take it off during the concert because obviously you don't want to block anyone's view. The only kind of fault with the concert obviously is that he didn't sing fine line, I'll forgive him but I'm still annoyed, um, was that it was Old Trafford. I've never been to Old Trafford as a venue before and I can't say I want to go back anytime soon. Um, it just wasn't really for me because obviously it's mainly um, unreserved floor and then there's unreserved seating at the back. There was some seating at the side and to be honest, I wish I got that. I'm only five foot one. It was obviously quite difficult to see the stage at points, which was a little bit disappointing. 
but it was still really really fun I did see him at some point but it was obviously quite difficult because I am short um my top tip is that if you're in general admission is to go round to the other corner so Old Trafford had one entrance to get in and basically we went from that entrance all the way to the other side uh and there was less people there there was also a merch stand inside the stadium that like no one was at so we queued outside of the merch stand for probably like 20 minutes and then when we got in there there was a merch stand on the floor and there was no queue so in terms of merch I got, so I obviously had to get this t-shirt because I'm obsessed, it was so cute, um, I love it. On the back, I think it's just tournaments. Um so yeah, a very, very cute t-shirt, and then me and my mom, because I went with my mom, we also got a, a tote bag each. So the tote bag was £25, which is like, obviously like, kind of expensive for a tote bag, but also it's at a concert, it's actually quite a big tote bag, it's like bigger than the average tote bag, but it is very, very cute, and it just says like, love on tour all over it. It's a very, very cute tote bag. I was very, very impressed. I really, really, really wanted the pink Love on Tour keyring, but it is sold out, which I was so upset about. But my lovely friend Taylor is gonna see if they have it at Wembley this weekend, and fingers crossed, because I really, 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 really want it because it's really pretty, and I love pink. They did have the blue keyring, like, still in stock, but I wasn't really a blue keyring person. A nightmare to get there. I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, We tried to get to the, like, parking around, so basically when we looked at, like, Transport of Great in Manchester, it said, oh you can park on Old Trafford the football like grounds um parking so obviously we went around there and there was none um there was one pre-booked one we found but obviously we didn't know that was a thing beforehand because we thought we could park on the football ground but we could not and then there was like signs up to go park in this other like space but it was like in an industrial estate and it did not look like the best parking in the world and it was like 20 quid which is quite expensive so we went down to Salford, we went to Media City and parked on there. It was only £10 and like a 30 minute walk, probably 20 to 30 minute walk. Really, really easy walk. And obviously after a concert, it's very, very safe because there's so many people around. So that was that was good. But yeah, it took, it took us a long time to get there. It took us a very, very long time to get there. But we eventually got there. We got there at about seven. Uh, just before Mitski and honestly we still had like a pretty good view considering it was general admission. Really wanted one of the pods. I tried to get pod tickets. I could not get them. They'd sold out so quickly. The best positions definitely is kitchen pod I think um, or any of the pods to be honest. I think you're getting the best view there. Um, early admission there was like a big issue in Manchester. Basically early admission was meant to be early um, sorry early entry for general admission was meant to be like right at the like where the catwalk was but unfortunately they put the pods there so it was kitchen in the middle and then the stage was around kitchen and then it was the pods around the outside of the stage and then it was early entry general admission now i would have been fuming if i had early and <laughs> early entry general admission because like it was more expensive than the pods like it was pretty expensive to be honest from what i remember but like they were further back so yeah that wasn't great. I don't think it was like that in Glasgow, but it was like that at both nights in Manchester. So just a warning for that. People did queue up. There was like an email that they sent out saying, no one can queue up until four o'clock. People camped. Like that was obviously going to happen. Um, again, I don't think you need to camp to enjoy a concert. I don't think you need to be right at the barrier to enjoy a concert. Personally, I get quite anxious at concerts. So like the thought of queuing up all day stresses me out. Uh, but yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna camp, if you're gonna do whatever, please sun cream, water, food. Otherwise, you will pass out, and then you won't be able to see the concert, and it will be wasted. So that is my top tip: please, 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 please stay hydrated and keep eating food. Um, it's very, very important. Honestly, it was oh my god, it was a fantastic concert. The vibes were immaculate and even when the concert was over as we were walking out it was an absolute nightmare to get out because there was like one door it was it was chaos but um there was like this like balcony of people and they were singing so like obviously everyone gets involved they were singing best song ever and just a load of one direction songs it was incredible there was also one bit that was like a hotel that looked out on the stadium which was really cool because you could just sit on your balcony that would have been amazing uh, I wish I'd known that was a thing because I so would have loved to do that because it would have just been so chill. If you like this video, it would mean the absolute world to me if you could subscribe to me, like the video, all the YouTube stuff. I also have a TikTok account where I posted videos from the concert if you want to check that out. I'll put it in the 
description below and yeah I hope you really really like this video you could check out my other videos I do Taylor Swift videos I do mental health videos travel vlogs all sorts of things so if you like this one you might like them ones as well um, I hope you have a lovely lovely day and if you're seeing Harry Styles in concert have the bastest time ever because it is so so fun